All right, guys, welcome back. Another tip, another Tuesday. We're here on the beautiful 18th fairway at the links of Brunello, and we're going to jump into continuing on a little bit about what we talked about before. But now we're going to have a chat about what happens after impact and the exactly. arm position. So yep. why don't you get in and break that down for us? For sure. So, if Neil, if you address the ball right now like you would, so notice how Neil's arms here make this triangle shape, right? So what the goal is, when after we make contact with the golf ball, we want to try to maintain that triangle for as long as we can after impact. So as you see there, so we always want to get into this nice position where, Neil, if you go up and keep that triangle extended, how the weight moves forward, everything moves forward. It's a very good position. We get that nice finish that we see on TV all the time. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's all we're, what we're striving exactly. for. Exactly. Everyone wants to look like Tiger Woods look. and Ricky Fowler exactly. and all the boys. But what we need to do is we need to break it down and get a little bit into the drill side of things. So when I get over a ball, I've got an eight iron here. Any type of mid iron is great. I want you to put it under your left armpit, flip it right over. So it really locks this left arm in place. Yep. Point the butt end, which is the white part, down at the ball, and as we rotate back, I don't know, about 20-30% of the swing, and as I come through, I really want to feel like I'm extending and pushing that butt end now at my target, where my intended target is, not trying to maybe get in, and what we'd see a lot is it going left, or that shoulder coming over and going down. Arms collapsing, yeah, a lot of positions that you don't want to get into. So Neil, if you go into that position again, wherever you follow through with that triangle maintained, so again, so Neil's weight gets off his foot, that nice finish. What we see a lot of the times when people swing, they just try to force it, they don't actually get there properly. So to get that weight moving forward, it's when you maintain that triangle, it's your upper body and your hips turning through that that's how you get that weight to that front side. Yeah, and it actually is, is leading. Exactly. That it's really helping it through there because we want to get away from kind of getting this down too low or breaking this elbow in where we see the follow through go exactly. left. Even though we feel like we're really rotating through it, we don't actually have that nice extension is the word we're exactly. looking for. Exactly. But when I get in, I'll hit one here. Absolutely. And I'm really going to make a genuine effort to kind of extend through it so that everyone see that my arms really push. Exactly. Yeah, really nice swing there. So notice how arms are forward, he's still maintaining that triangle. His weight's forward, everything looks great there. Yeah, and from right there, that's when you can get up and really finish that swing and make it look nice and easy. Exactly. Give this one a try, guys, and we'll see you next week.